Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Japanese class for beginners. We have been doing a lot of Japanese in the past lessons. I hope it is not all in the PPT here and you all are practicing at home and learning new words and remembering them as well. See by doing this actually what you do is one, you get used to the sounds that you are hearing every day, that you are learning every day and you sort of, you also memorize all the new words that you learn. So please do not leave it here in the PPT, try to also practice at home. Now in our previous lessons we had done hiragana, you I hope you remember, uh, we had done the hiragana script which is cursive as we all saw and uh, as I had told you earlier it has 71 sounds in all. So over here, this is the katakana script for you which you can see over here on your screen now and as you can see it is a little angular, it is a little sharp and I would like to tell you that this katakana script is actually meant for foreign words, words which are not of Japanese origin. So anything that is not Japanese, any word that is not Japanese is to be written in katakana. For example, our names, any words in English from English language which are used in uh, the Japanese language are to be written in katakana. It could be a German word, it could be a French word, it could be an English word, it could be anything which is not of Japanese origin is to be written in katakana. So now this is exactly similar to hiragana. You can see on your screens in blue is the vowels written on top, then we have the K, S, T, N, H, M, Y, R and W letters for you here and the sounds associated with it. So it is Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko and it goes right till the end till N as it is in Hiragana. Again we have extra sounds here in the katakana uh, series, the set 2. The sounds are ga, za, da, ba and pa. Now you will notice in hiragana these sounds, these letters were actually made from the set 1 symbols. Similarly over here, I will go back to to set 1, you will see ka, ki, ku, ke and ko. If you just put this symbol, this small symbol over here on top of ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, it becomes ga, gi, gu, ge and go. Similarly for sa, if you put this symbol over here, the sound becomes za, ji, zu, ze and zo. I will once write it for you then it will be easier to understand. For example, in hiragana it was ka, ki, ku, ke and ko. Just by putting this symbol here we had changed it to ga, gi, gu, ge and go. In a similar manner in katakana as well ka, ki, ku, ke and ko. So just by putting this over here, we make it ga, gi, gu, ge and go. So the same thing can be done for za, da, ba and pa.
Now, as katakana is for foreign words, words which are not of Japanese origin, naturally foreign words will have a lot of sounds which are not there in the language. Thus, to accommodate those foreign sounds, to accommodate those sounds which are not there in the language, special letters have been created. So, these are those special letters here on your screen you can see these special letters. Now, we did this word dare last time. Dare and donata are question words corresponding to the interrogative English word who. Donata is more polite of course, dare is more informal and uh, is to be used amongst friends, amongst uh, people your own age, but donata generally is used when you are in a formal situation, when you are talking to people older to you, seniors. Dare no is similar in meaning to the English interrogative word whose showing possession and belonging. You have done a lot of vocabulary, you have done particle no. So, over here we have something written kaban wa dare no desu ka. Dare no means whose. So, now kaban wa dare no desu ka with ka you can make it into a question, you can ask someone whose bag is it and instead of bag, instead of kaban which is given over here, you can put any other noun that you want. For example, pen, empitsu, kuruma, camera, saifu, kagi. So, you can put any of these in place of kaban. I will just show it to you. In place of kaban, you can put pen, toke, hon, jisho or any other noun and you can ask whose is it. Noun wa dare no desu ka. Whose is this? Now, again we have this sentence over here for you. You can ask someone kaban wa dare no desu ka. So, instead of dare no desu ka, whose is it? Now, for whose you can put any name, you can you can ask oka san. Just a minute please. Oka san, Oto san, Tanaka san, Sensei. So, you can ask one kaban wa dare no desu ka, whose kaban is it? And you can also ask kaban wa oka san no desu ka, you can name the person. Pen wa sensei no desu ka, tokei wa tanaka san no desu ka and of course, you can answer in hai tanaka san no desu, ie tanaka san no dewa arimasen or hai so desu or ie so dewa arimasen. So, you can practice it at home like this with your partner and you will feel more comfortable. Empitsu wa okasan no desu ka? Kaban wa imoto no desu ka? 
車は弟のですかカメラは友達のですか財布は先生のですか鍵はラウさんのですか So you can practice like this with your partner, answer it properly and it will give you a lot of practice and more confidence. Noun wa tare no desu ka? Now because we want you to replace this with a lot of new vocabulary, there is some vocabulary for you over here. Oksan, the meanings equivalents in English are given over here in this column. It is written in hiragana in the third column and the first column in blue is the word in Roman. Oksan, kanai, shujin, goshujin, musume. You can also repeat after me please. Musuko, Ojo san, Oyome san, Omago, Chichi, Haha, Oji san, Oba san. We did Oji san, which is grandfather and oba san which is grandmother. So, please this is uncle and aunt the i is not elongated over here and the a is also not elongated in aunt. Also we have done this word anata a number of times in our previous lessons. Anata corresponds to you in English and it is impolite to address someone as anata in Japanese. It is customary to address a person by their first name or by their surnames in Japanese. Also, I would like to tell you, I think uh, I have also told you in the previous lessons that san is to be used after one's, after someone's name and not to be used after one's name please. After family, after your own family members and your own name san is not to be used. Now we have been practicing numbers. We have done till 70. We will do 71 till 80 today. Please repeat after me. Nanaju ichi. Nanaju ni. Nanaju san. Nanaju yon or Nanaju shi, Nanaju go, Nanaju roku, Nanaju nana or Nanaju shichi, Nanaju hachi, Nanaju kyu and Hachiju. Now, as we have done numbers, I think we should also use them in our conversation. There is a simple kaiwa over here, simple dialogue between two people, Neha and Tanaka-san. So, I will read it out to you first and then explain. Tanaka-san wa nan sai desu ka? Watashi wa 35 sai desu. Tanaka-san no oksan wa nyobo wa 32 sai desu. Neha wants to know how old Tanaka is. So, Sai over here, Sai, this word Sai, which is new for you today, means age. Tanaka san wa nan. Nan, this word nan you have already done. Over here, nan means how and not what as we have done earlier. Tanaka san wa nan sai desu ka means how old are you? Watashi wa 35 sai desu. I am. 35 years old. Tanaka san no oksan, your wife. Tanaka san no oksan wa, and please see the intonation is rising, even though 
it has been left, it is incomplete, but from context it is very clear what Neha san wants to know and the intonation is rising in the end. Nyobo wa sanju ni sai desu. So, we have done in our previous vocabulary section kanai, kanai means my wife or one's own wife, nyobo also means the same, nyobo wa sanju ni sai desu. Now, sai here is a counter as you will see. Sai is a counter used for asking someone's age or telling your own age in Japanese and it corresponds to years old in English. So, now we have a lot of counters or I should say we have in Japanese different ways of counting different things. For example, for example, uh, counting people you count in a different way, counting small irregular objects you do it in a different manner, then counting long cylindrical uh, objects you do in a different manner. Over here you can see sai which is about telling age, so that is age is told in a different manner. So, such counters, such a method of counting, such counters are numerous in Japanese, there are number of counters like this. and one of them is, one of them we are doing today over here in class. Also please remember that when you are, when you are asking someone else, someone who is older to you, you are asking their age, then it is impolite to use sai. There is a polite way of asking how old you are, which is o ikutsu. You can see it is written over here o ikutsu. So, when you ask someone who is older to you, then you would generally say, whatever the name of the person, san wa oikutsu desu ka. Please remember do not ask dash san wa nansai desu ka to someone who is older to you or senior in rank or position. Over here it is written in polite or formal conversation when the person is older to the speaker in experience, position or is not well known then oikutsu is used in place of the age suffix sai as it is considered more polite. Also remember that 20 years old, you have to use this word hatachi and not sai with hatachi. Thus, age counter sai is not to be used with the digit 20, only hatachi is used and not hatachi sai. Of course, the more you practice, the easier it becomes. You do not even have to remember it that much. It is just there and you will only say hatachi and not hatachi sai. Now, you have age over here, please repeat after me, issai, nisai, sansai, yonsai, gosai, roksai, nanasai, hassai, Q-sai, Jus-sai, Ju-is-sai, Ju-ni-sai, Hatachi and Sanju-go-sai. So, you will notice over here that for Is-sai, Has-sai, and jusai. It is a little different, otherwise you just add sai to the digit. Over here ni, san, yon, go, roku, nana, sanju, q, all these you just add sai after the digit. Now, kore wa hon desu. Earlier we had done hon desu ka, jisho desu ka by just pointing out, by just showing the book or the dictionary to you, I just said hon desu and jisho desu. This is a book and this is a dictionary. Now, today we will do how it is to be actually done. This is again a conversation between Kumar san and Tanaka san. Suimasen, sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa jisho desu. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? Hai. So, this 
日本語の辞書です。田中さんの辞書ですかいいえ、そうではありません。誰の辞書ですかこれは先生のです。I will read the conversation once and then explain. すみません、それは何ですかこれは辞書です。日本語の辞書ですかはい、そうです。日本語の辞書です。田中さんの辞書ですかいいえ、そうではありません。私の辞書ではありません。誰の辞書ですかこれは先生の辞書です。So this is between two people.I'm sure some of it you would have understood.Some of it I will explain.There are a few new words for you. すみません。Excuse me. それ。それは何ですか ?So now these are, these are new words. これ、それ、あれ、and どれ。Now these, these are demonstrative pronouns. これ means this. それ、that. That over there and which of the two or three things, which of the two or three objects which are being shown to you. So now, for example, this is person one, a son. This is b son. Over here and here. Now, something which is close to a sun, for example, this is a bag. This is a bag. This is close to a sun, but it is far away from b sun. So, well, this is kore, kore for a, but sore for. Sore for B. So now, how will he ask him what this is? Koreva, he can point it, point at the bag and say, Koreva nandeska. Soreva kabandes. Is that all right? So whatever is close to the speaker is kore, and whatever is far away from the speaker is sore. それは何ですかこれは辞書です。日本語の辞書ですか ?We have already done this earlier. 日本語の辞書ですかはい、そうです。日本語の辞書です。田中さんの辞書ですか ?Does it belong to Mr. Tanaka? いいえ、そうではありません。私のではありません。You can omit the 私のではありません also. Or you can give a short answer. いいえ、そうではありません。So, well, Kumar san again wants to know. In that case, well, 誰の辞書ですか Whose 辞書 is it? これは先生の辞書です。You can again remove 辞書 from here and everything will be understood very, very clearly. これは先生のです。There is no need to add the noun over there. If you want, you can add. If not, no itself completes everything and everything is very clearly understood. The same conversation is in Japanese, written in Japanese for you. Now we have kore, sore and are. These are demonstratives as I told you. They are demonstrative pronouns and they tell you about the object. But please remember this set of kore, sore, are and dore only talks about inanimate things. Only about non living things, only about objects, where they are, with reference to the speaker. Now, this kore sore are dore is made from the base ko, so, a, and do. To this base, we add re, and thus it becomes kore sore are and and is to be used only for non-living things or objects only. 
Now, over here you will see we have two people A san and B san. Now, A san is pointing at this kaban, at this bag, and he is asking, Kore wa nan desu ka? Because it is close to him, it is next to him. So, Kore wa nan desu ka? What does B san have to say? Can you tell me? B san points at the bag and then he says, Sore wa kaban desu. So, you can see something that is close to the speaker is kore and something which is far away from the speaker is sore. We have another example for you. Now, A san again, he is pointing at this bag over here again and what is he saying? Sore wa nan desu ka? Because it is far away from him. So, sore wa nan desu ka? And what does B san have to say? Will you try please? B san says, kore wa kaban desu. So, depending on who is saying what, kore and sore will change. Who is where the object is placed, the person will use kore and sore. Now, this is for you to practice at home as well. Kore wa nan desu ka? Nan you already know. Sore wa pen desu as this is A and B. So, you can replace pen as I told you with empitsu, hon, kagi, toke, kyokasho. Now, we have we have already done watashi no pen des in lesson 4, anata no pen des ka asking a question. Then also we can replace watashi and anata with watashi no tomodachi no, anata no tomodachi no easily and ask the same question. Now, today slightly different noun 1 will show what noun 2 consists of or is about, what it is about. For example, we have this sentence over here, kore wa computer no hon desu. This book is on or about computers. This is a book on computers. Kore wa nihongo no jisho desu. This is a Japanese dictionary. This is a dictionary of Japanese words. So, no can also be used like this, watashi no pen desu. It can also be used like this, kore wa computer no on this. Now, we have done kore wa dare no kaban desu ka? Sore wa rao san no kaban desu. Now, what is what are we to do over here? We can replace kaban with toke as we did in the previous one, jisho, kuruma, boshi, saifu. Kutsu. This kaban over here can be replaced with this. As I told you earlier, kore wa rao san no kaban desu ka? Kore wa oka san no kaban desu ka? Kore wa tomodachi no kaban desu ka? We can replace rao san also with other vocabulary that we have done. Now, okay, there is something for you. I have this bag here which you can see on the on the screen. I have this bag, there are a lot of things in the bag. What you can do is, you can sit with your partner with a bag or a box and try to take out things from the, ba from the box or the bag and try to ask your partner. For example, you can, you can take this out and say, kore wa nan desu ka? So, you, you can practice about kore and sore. Kore wa nan desu ka? You can answer that, kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Then of course, you can take out more things from the bag and you can ask different things like Kore wa nan desu ka? We also have a lot of things here for you today. Kore wa, you remember I am sure what this is. So, kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? You can answer it. 
again with your partner you can also say kore wa kagi desu ka kore wa pen drive desu ka kore wa keshi gomu desu ka so you can you can ask and you can answer and that will be good for you because you can remember all the words you can remember them easily and you will get practice as well well now i will finish today's lesson i think there's lot of vocabulary for you there are lot of things for you to do at home practice with your partner and please one thing i would like to tell you practice loudly whatever you say should be clearly heard by you so please try to do that at home with your partner well in the end sore deva minasan arigato gozaimas and let us meet again in our next class mata ashita aimashou thank you